After they broke the hammer mill, I had to put Mikey and Matt where they could do the least amount of damage. Todd, are you seeing anything good? Leave him alone, he's working. Yeah, Mike put that helmet on my head because he wanted to hit me on the head. I don't even know where that blue helmet came from. Listen, you guys are gonna have to scrape this all the way and expose the vein for at least 20 feet there to those first row of four trees there. We've been searching for this trench forever and we finally found it, so we gotta get in there and see what's in there. How wide? Just this wide. Just that wide? Just that wide, yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll see you in a couple weeks then. It'd be easier for the bobcat to clear a trail in here. Can't use the bobcat, it's busy, it's building that fence. We always get the jobs. Jobs, job. From what I've seen so far, there's gold in those trenches. We just gotta figure out how to get it out of there. Rock saw some little trenches. The vein's our future, now let's go. I'm going to check on that fence. Me and Matt have the same type of role. We're both younger guys, so you know, younger guys do the to work than the old dusty guys. Quit cutting and start digging. It's all because you ruined the hammer mill helmet head. Yeah, we're being punished again, but it always feels like we're getting punished. All right, I'm impressed, boys. Way to get some done, you guys. I think I got some gold on some pyrite over here. Yeah? Just kind of on top of it, sitting there. Okay, well, this is a real nice start, guys. I mean start? Now we got to cut right a mini here. trench here, like they did in the old days on a smaller scale. I mean, the point of cutting a mini trench is you have to do an assay on unweathered rock, so you have to get a couple inches underground for a good assay. Okay, that's the good news. That's a pretty funny idea of good news, because that's the things I've heard all day. What's the bad news then? Well, you're gonna have to get rid of all this dirt. And you gotta clean it really good, because that rock saw, you can't that up. You can't be going on gravel. The guys are doing a good job, but I have to see more rock exposed. Let's do this, guys. I know there's gold under here. So Todd gave us the rock saw. I didn't really catch his instructions, so I just kind of hacked away at the rock. Looked like when I was done. Mike, can you grab me an empty bucket? What else do you want? A grilled cheese? Sure. One right behind you. Oh, stuff's looking good. Yeah? Is it a vein? No, I don't think so. Well, do you see anything? Oh. oh. Nah, no. I see a broken chisel. I don't see the quartz vein at all. No sign of the vein at all? If that vein goes underground, we just don't have the equipment to go after it. Okay, Matt, take all that stuff up to Jimmy. See you guys later. Have fun. So where the is it? I don't know, but it's not here. I mean, the vein's supposed to run right here, and it's not here. What if it's like four feet underneath of us? Then we're f Even if this thing is two feet on the ground, we can't get at it. I knew it was too good to be true.